Today for review I have the Toshiba OCZ TR200 SATA SSD. This is an entry level SSD aimed squarely at those who are upgrading from a mechanical hard drive and it's priced accordingly starting at around $60 for the 240GB version up to $280 for the 960GB. Physically the drive is a 2.5 inch 7mm thin form factor with a metallic casing and a pleasant green and black colour scheme. Toshiba's official specs for this drive list the read and write speeds at up to 555 MB per second read and up to 540 MB per second write. So let's run some speed tests to see how the actual speeds compare with the specs. Starting with Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, read and write speeds both start off at around the 400 MB per second mark. Not even close to the quoted speeds from Toshiba, but respectable enough for people who are upgrading from a mechanical hard drive. However, on subsequent tests, while read speeds are stable at over 400 megabytes per second, the write speed falls dramatically to near 100 megabytes per second. Switching to AJA system test, we see the same thing. The write speed starts off well, but as soon as the faster cache memory is filled up, the write speed falls dramatically to around the 100 megabytes per second mark. What this means is that writing more than a few gigabytes of data to this drive is going to be excruciatingly slow. Read speeds though are consistent at around 465 megabytes per second. Copying a folder containing four gigabytes of small files from a RAM disk to this SSD took 14 seconds for an average of 285 megabytes per second while a single 9.5 gig file took 75 seconds for an average of 126 megabytes per second. Reading from the drive gave an average 450 megabytes per second in both cases. For comparison, copying that same 9.5 gigabyte file from RAM to a Seagate Barracuda hard drive was 10 seconds quicker, making this the first SSD I've ever tested that was actually slower than a rotational hard drive. While the read speed is fast enough to offer a noticeable improvement over a mechanical drive in everyday use, the slow write speeds make this drive very difficult to recommend. There are much better drives available at a similar price. If you're looking for a good, cheap, entry-level SATA SSD, avoid this and get the Western Digital Blue 3D, the SanDisk Ultra 3D or the Crucial BX300. They're only a few dollars more expensive, but offer significantly better performance. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.